All right, this is fifth grade, module five, lesson two. And in this lesson, we're going to continue talking about volume by discussing how many cubes will fit into the rectangular prism, like a, an empty box, an open box, and then counting those number of cubes that are fitting in the box. And so we're not really using the standard algorithm yet. Uh, we are giving students the experience so that eventually, uh, within a couple of days, they will come up with that standard algorithm. So let's get started. All right, this says make the following boxes on centimeter graph paper. So I've got some graph paper here. It says cut out and fold each of these boxes. So I have cut out one of the boxes here. And I think this is problem C. I can't remember. Uh, anyway, and then what we're going to do is we're going to fold it along those the lines here. And I am going to create a box with an open lid. Okay, and I'm folding, and I'm folding, and I'm folding. All right, so here we go. And there's my little box. Woohoo! Now I'm not going to tape it, but you can see the bottom of this box will hold 12 cubes, because there it is. You can see that if you count the 12 little unit, um, square units, the 12 faces here, 12 little units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the bottom of this box, this box will hold 12 cubes inside at the bottom, but then you can see that this box will hold two layers of those box of those cubes so you've got 12 cubes on the bottom layer and then you've got 12 cubes on the top layer so this box will hold 24 little cubes centimeter cubes okay let's see if I can go away there and now so basically another way to look at this is right here is the bottom and so the bottom is 3 by 4, and then it goes up by 2. And then, so if you wanted to, you can say, okay, here's the side of the, the box, here's the side of the box, and then, and then we're looking inside the box right here, and it's 2 units high. So here it says, how many centimeter cubes would fit inside this box? And explain your answers using words di and diagrams on the box. So the idea is, well first let's take a look at the box. So here's our open lid up here, and we're going to be dropping cubes inside. And when we drop cubes, put place cubes down here on the bottom floor of this uh, box. Now I think of this as a building. And on this first floor, how many cubes are going to fit in that building? Well, I can see that there's four cubes here. One, two, three, four. Now, parents and teachers, don't let your students get all messed up and count uh, this corner right here. Don't let them count that twice. That's one cube. Now, a lot of fifth graders will want to count it twice because they, two, they see two sides showing. But really, that's one cube. They're getting faces and cubes mixed up. So uh, don't let them do that. So be aware of that. And so we're going to count, and we can see that there's four cubes going across. And then back here is an indication that there's another row of four cubes. So you've got four cubes right here plus another row of four cubes. So on this bottom row right here, this bottom floor, so to speak, right here. This bottom floor, there are four, uh, eight cubes. Eight cubes on that bottom floor, which means there's going to be eight cubes on each floor of this building. So there's going to be 32 cubes altogether. And so how did we get that? Well, we counted the bottom floor, eight cubes on the bottom, and I can put eight cubes on each floor is another way to say it. All right. 
um, teachers. We do not need that standard algorithm yet where students just blindly multiply to get the answer. We want them to use logic at this point. And that wraps up Grade 5, Module 5, Lesson 2, where we're finding the volume of rectangular prisms simply by counting.